So this is a Quad FM3 tuner from the late 60s, early 1970s. I've actually got one similar to this uh, in my one of my audio setups here. It's matched with a 33 preamp and a 303 power amp. Um, this one was from my friend's estate, who I've been uh, fixing up a few radios to go to the Spark Museum for. And I uh, wasn't sure if this was working or not, so I was put on the bench today and checked it out. And it worked, but um, none of the uh, the indicator lights, there's a tuning indicator, or the stereo indicator light worked. And even the uh, dial light wasn't working. I've got that working now, um, changed the bulb in that. But I didn't have any more bulbs for these other three lights at all blown. So I, instead I simply replaced them with um, LEDs. I use blue LEDs, a nice low current draw. And I've got a 10k series resistor uh, so they're rich fitted. And I left the um, the original uh, bulb holders in place. Um, so if anybody ever wants to change it back to, um, to have an incandescent bulbs in there, they can do that. Um, so it's, it's working good now. The only other thing I've done to it uh, is change out a uh, preset pot on the rear panel, which is the uh, mute threshold control, which is completely gone. I replaced it with an internal uh, 4.7k pot. So you've got to take the case off to adjust the mute, but that's no big deal. Uh, at least it works now. Um, and also the um, I trimmed the, um, the 19 kilohertz oscillator in, in this chip here. Uh, it was it was off. It was running at about 16.5 kilohertz. So the uh, stereo light wasn't uh, functioning correctly now. It's exactly on 19 kilohertz and uh, it's working good. So it's on. I just it's muted at the moment because I'm not on the station at the bottom end of the band. I've got a pair of rabbit ears antennas on, on it. Um, so it's the mute threshold is set just above the noise level. So it'll pick up weak signals, some that it can't even decode properly. But I just wanted to demonstrate the, uh, the tuning control and the stereo light. So the tuning works by, when you go through a station, the, the idea is to get both of these um, lights of equal intensity, so they're both the same brightness, and then it should be tuned on the nose. Like that. A very weak station there. Amateur composer. A strong station. So you get those two exactly right. And at that point, the stereo light comes on as well because it's a stereo station, obviously. The stereo light, of course, will not come on if the station's too weak. I won't keep it on music stations long because it's going on YouTube. It actually sounds very good. I'm just playing through a couple of, of uh, old computer speakers at the moment, so uh, the audio is not that great. So there we go, quad FM3 tuner, working great, looks almost new inside, it's a very very clean example, all original apart from the uh, modifications I've done today, so uh, this will be going up for sale.